Right, so here I'm at, uh, at my mate's house in Manchester, just outside city centre in Hardwick, next to the Mancunian Way. So one o'clock in the morning, early hours of Saturday morning, I've just come to the flat to drop my stuff off, have a cig, and then I'm going to head into town. It's funny, I was a bit annoyed earlier on, I was talking to this guy uh, back home, and I was saying that uh, I've started coming over to Manchester, Again, I used to live here, yeah. And I moved back to my mum and dad's in Batley, of all places. Nice enough town, but a bit quiet for my liking. I moved back over there, remember that? That was December 2012, so going on for 18 months ago now. And God, do I need a bit of city life bit of buzz and activity from a city to, to just inject some life into me. Anyway, earlier on tonight, I was explaining to this lad, I said, oh, I said, I've started going back over to Manchester and I'm wanting to be successful over in Manchester. And he was poo-pooing uh, my attempts at success. Long story, really, but I just, I hate haters. I, I really have no time for those people who... Try and put you down, put down the efforts that you're making to, to make a success of yourself. To my mind, it's all about jealousy. It's people who are jealous of you because you're willing to make an effort to try and do something with your life. You know what I mean? Instead of just sitting around, drinking cups of coffee and talking. <laughs> Anyway, yesterday I got this uh, I got this check shirt yesterday. I've been after a red check shirt for a while and I went over in Trafford Centre in Foot Asylum and I noticed on the website that they had some uh, checky shirts. So I got this yesterday. Let me just take my jacket off then you can get a better look. It's funny how, like those uh, Timberlands, I always remember years ago, check shirts used to be. Everybody used to wear check shirts. And then, <laughs> I always remember an old neighbour of my mum and dad's called Kathleen, Kathleen Copeland. She would tell me once, when I told her I was gay, she was on about these gay lads who she knew. She'd met these gay lads one night and she was describing them. She says, oh Michael, they were really good looking lads. You wouldn't have thought they were gay. And they had, oh, they had these beautiful, gorgeous check shirts on. <laughs> Whenever anybody mentions a check shirt now, I always remember Kathleen Copeland on about these two gay lads who she'd met. And they had these gorgeous check shirts on. Anyway, this place is a bit of a tip, so I'm going to do a bit of cleaning up for me mate before I head over to the village.
funny actually, I was thinking about this driving over, and I've mentioned this in a few videos now. Uh, when things are going well for me, it's often because, most likely because, I go back and, and, and think of uh, what I heard a very old uh, yogi in India say about meditation. I watched this short film, um, uh, an old yogi called Iyengar after which a style of yoga is uh, named after it, Iyengar Yoga. They use a lot of props and ropes and blocks and this, that and other when they're doing the yogic postures. Anyway, this guy is giving this, uh, this talk uh, about meditation and he makes it sound oh so simple uh, and it really hit home to me uh, when, he, when he gave this talk. Anyway, come on Michael. So he's telling uh, the audience, he's saying, definition of meditation is meditation is concentration and there's three different forms of meditation each of them has, has different strengths um, and after watching that video after watching that film um, which really struck home to me I worked out what the different uh, forms of meditation were he mentioned that the strongest form of meditation was yoga and I reasoned afterwards that it wasn't just yoga, yoga was an example of uh, the strongest form of uh, meditation other such meditations, other such forms of concentration let's start using this word concentration instead of meditation because meditation it has so many different connotations uh, uh, with other people let's call it concentration right so there's different forms of concentration and this particular form the strongest form of meditation which includes yoga also includes any activity this is what I worked out any activity that you perform to quieten the mind such as jogging walking walking around the house any activity that you say to yourself you're going to do not for an end result such as going to buy a pair of trainers but you want to do an activity because you just want to do it because you want to quieten the mind yeah you just want to do that activity anyway also after watching this film what mr uh of mr Iyengar talking about meditation afterwards i reasoned to myself that the most important ingredient in successful meditation is who is concentrating on you yeah and that is the most successful uh, that is the most important sorry ingredient in how well you meditate it's who is concentrating on you just wanted to make that, just wanted to say that. Because really there's so much bullshit, I hear so much bullshit about meditation. It's so untrue. Including, uh, it's funny, I've seen a number of films. I watched this film once, this guy about meditation, and it was a guided meditation. And he was saying, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to imagine some uh, some form of energy is transferring from one eye to the other and then open your eyes again. And I thought, Christ Almighty, why can't we just why can't we just be uh, honest uh, about uh, these things? I like plain speaking, um, no bullshit. I like those sort of uh, talks. That's why I love that particular film, Meditation is Concentration. And when things are going well for me, I remember, um, I remember that talk, I remember that advice about uh, meditation, and, and I practice the different forms of meditation, different forms of concentration in my life. I say, right, now I need that particular form of concentration, so I need to go for a jog. Now I need this particular form of concentration, so I need to uh, need to practice some yoga. And then I remember to myself, oh, right, now it feels as if I need some input from someone else. I need someone to concentrate on me. So I might go to a meeting, an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting or wherever, and, uh, and talk about my problems. So as to get other people to concentrate on me, to input their energy into me so that, that I can go off and concentrate some more. Anyway. 
that's about it for now. Catch you in a bit, yeah. Cheers.